Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, as you can tell, I'm working on replacing some of the spark plugs on my 2001 Lexus GS430. I apologize, but the autofocus on my camera is no longer working today, so I'm trying to zoom you guys in as well as focus you guys to the best of my ability. Okay, so one of the ignition coils I've already removed, um, and I just wanted to give you guys a little tip on how to best remove the plug from the coil pack, okay? Because, like I said, this is a 20-year-old car, so if you're working something that is old, just like what I have here in front of us, you want to make sure that you're doing it appropriately or else you're gonna end up breaking that connector right there that is in the center of your screen, okay? So bear with me. I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in to show you what I'm doing. That way, you can save yourself some headaches. I've broken a couple of these tabs, not on this car, but on my previous car ownership experience. So like I said, I've come up with a couple of little ways to, you know, save the headaches of actually having to, you know, wire up those plugs again okay so first thing you want to do is take uh, some kind of cleaning cloth and any kind of cleaning solution will do but what you're trying to do is now clean off that connector to the best of your ability okay so you want to get it as clean as you can so then that way you know there's no dust dirt grime oil anything like that that is going to allow your grip to slip okay <laughs> grip to slip see that um, all right so um, now as you can tell it looks a lot better and like I said you're gonna have a much better grip on this now okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it just without anything else just our hands all right thumb left side of the plug middle finger on the right side your index finger right here is doing the work so this is the clip and like I said we're gonna try to get it out without any anything else besides our hands okay so the trick that I always used in the past is thumb and middle finger pushes down onto the plug and then the index finger is now trying to lift that tab up okay so if that doesn't work, not a big deal. I'll show you how to not force it out because if you force it out, you're gonna break something, okay? So one of the things that you wanna do is get yourself a pick just like this. Um, this is a hook pick, so you can buy a set on Amazon or anywhere you want, but this is not doing the work, okay? This is just going to assist me, all right? So same thing, thumb, middle finger, index here, pushing down on this tab. The hook now is gonna simply go underneath the tab, okay, and I'm just gonna assist that tab to kind of get over that little hump, okay? And then from there, it should just come up like that, okay? So, as you can tell, like I said, this is the tab that we're working with, and if you press too hard on this, this is going to break, because like I said, this is a 20-year-old car. Therefore, imagine all of the heat cycles, meaning, you know, you're running the car, it cools down when you get to wherever it is that you're going to. That's happening now for the last 20 years. So all of the plastic, all of the components that are inside this engine bay have gone through multiple heat cycles. You know, whether it's hundreds of thousands or, you know, tens of thousands, it really doesn't matter. That's going to now deteriorate a lot of that lifespan of the plastic. So that's why, like I said, that's been the best way that I've ever been able to take off the connector, off of the uh, ignition coils without breaking them, okay? So, because like I said, if you break this, all right, now you got to actually buy another connector and then kind of, you know, um, cut it, splice it together, and then that way, you know, you can still have a, a, a proper connection. And that's one of the reasons why I'd always avoid breaking this tab, because once this tab breaks, it's not going to lock into your ignition coils anymore. And then now, you might have misfires, you can have all sorts of other problems just because you weren't mindful at taking it off skillfully like what we just showed, okay? So just try that out when you're working on your spark plugs and like I said, hopefully that saves somebody some headaches down the line, all right? Thanks for watching.